Earlier this year, we found out New York City became the most expensive place in the world to do construction. What can we do to become more competitive here in terms of pricing? Well, I think you have to understand what it means to be classified as the most expensive place uh, to do construction in the world as companies and people um, determine where they're going to live and where they're going to work and where companies are going to locate. Uh, their capital expense on the building side is a big part of that. What's driving the prices primarily is land cost and I think that Manhattan and the boroughs are going to continue to be desirable places so I don't see land costs going down. I think we need to look at efficiencies as well as new materials that are both sustainable to the environment but also cost effective. Technology is a way that we become more efficient in construction that reduces costs. I would tell you that there's great room for efficiency in um, construction in New York. So I think it's something that needs to be looked at. I think it does affect our competitive edge as a city, um, as an economic uh, development uh, tool that the city is. We need to make sure that the capital that these companies have to invest here gives them the appropriate return. And certainly bringing down the cost of construction would go a long way. Over the last couple of years, we've seen a boom in the construction industry is that boom starting to teeter off? So I think there's a couple of uh, historical things that have happened over the years, including the sunsetting then of 421A. So I do believe there was an inflated number of starts because people needed their construction started in order to preserve the then 421A. So I think that does skew it a little bit. We're seeing a great uh, pickup in our office work. You know, our commercial office buildings are, are booming not only at Hudson Yards, but in Brooklyn and uh, in other neighborhoods as well. And you're also seeing a lot of big leases come up. So I think the tenant improvement sector of the business will remain strong. And of course, many of our, our healthcare systems here in New York are coming down off of a, a large capital spend and they'll be planning their next spend. So it's, it's a cyclical business for sure but um, there's lots of big projects going on. We're very excited about New York. It's one of our best markets nationally, and uh, we're continuing to invest here.